overnight we received reports uh, that there had been a number of religious materials that had been gathered uh, at the uh, detainee facility at uh, Parwan. Uh, those materials uh, were inadvertently given to troops for disposition. Uh, and that disposition was to burn the materials. It was not a decision that was made because they were religious materials. It was not a decision that was uh, made with respect to the faith of Islam. It was a mistake. It was an error. Uh, the moment we found out about it, we immediately stopped and we intervened. One of the very first things I did was to initiate an investigation. In fact, I intend to invite the Afghans to join us on this investigation, which I think is very important for their, their sense of transparency on this. And so uh, we'll look into the reason that those materials were gathered. Uh, we'll look into the manner in which the decision was made to dispose of them in this manner. Uh, I will tell you this, uh, I'm going to take steps inside this headquarters to issue an order today on how we will handle religious materials for the faith of Islam henceforth uh, by ISAF uh, so that something like this just cannot happen again. Well, first of all, uh, I offer my sincere apologies. Uh, as I have this morning uh, in phone calls to a number of uh, senior Afghans uh, here in Kabul, uh, I offered my sincere apologies uh, to the president, uh, to the government of Afghanistan, but most importantly to the people, the noble people of Afghanistan. So that's my first point. The second point is very important as well, and that is this was unintentional. There was no intention by any member of ISAF to defame the faith of Islam or to desecrate the precious religious materials of this faith. Well, this is not who we are. These are very, very isolated incidents. We've been here a long time. We've been shoulder to shoulder with the Afghans for a long time. We've been dying alongside the Afghans for a long time because we believe in them. We believe in their country. We want to have every opportunity to give them a bright future. So these are isolated incidents. And my apology to the Afghans has to be accompanied by my certainty to them, my assurance to them that these kinds of incidents, when they do occur, we will move quickly to correct them. We will move quickly to hold people accountable. But my promise to them is that these are isolated incidents. They are not about who we are. We stand for more than that. And we will continue to stand by the Afghans in the future.